Today's video is about drawing bottles. So kind of a step up from drawing bowls if you checked out the last episode or the last drawing video. So the first thing you do before you start drawing anything, um, and you can do this while you're drawing of course, but it's good to, to observe your subject. Take some notes, mental notes, whatever, however you need to do it, and figure out um, what are some interesting things about your subject I have two different kinds of bottles here. There's some similarities, there's some differences, so it's interesting to take note of those. So they both have a cap, obviously. There's always a top to a bottle for the most part. Um, even if there is no cap on it, there's still kind of a top part where the cap goes on. Uh, usually that's a different size than the neck, which is another part of the bottle, and we can see these two definitely are completely different in their necks. Uh, the caps are a little bit different, but a cap is a cap, not much difference there. The necks are completely different. Um, so the, you know, the water bottle is very interesting. Uh, it actually has a very small section here at the top underneath before it widens out. So that's an interesting kind of neck for a bottle. And then this one is more of a traditional kind of, you know, wine bottle or olive oil or some kind of uh, glass bottle like that has a thinner neck and then bulges down into the body, which is the next part of the bottle. Once again, completely different. Uh, this one is straight all the way down, same size all the way around, and then mostly just flat on the bottom. There's actually a little dip on the bottom. It goes upward. Um, and then with the water bottle here, it actually dips inward around kind of like the waist of the bottle there, you know, the hips. Uh, the midsection of the bottle kind of dips in a little bit has these ridges interesting texture and stuff creates a lot of different highlights and stuff when you put light on it and then the bottom is completely different it has these like kind of ridges that are inward it's kind of hard to see on the video but it's not completely solid all the way around it has these dips inward you know it's just designed differently than uh, this other bottle so interesting things to take note of, you know, whatever bottle you have, look at your bottle and try to understand what's going on. Let's break down these different sections of this bottle. And uh, there's some interesting things I'm going to talk about how when we get into the drawing part here in just a minute of how we can start to begin to draw a bottle because even though this is an easy subject, it's a simple subject. I don't know if it's easy, but it, it's simple. We'll say it's simple. Um, it's, it's a little bit difficult because it's completely symmetrical, so you kind of have to get both sides right. And that can be difficult for beginners, of course. Um, but it's a simple subject, but it's, it's complex as well. There's a lot of things going on here, and you want to take note of that. Obviously, it's a cylindrical object. So right away, uh, we can break it down as a cylinder. Um, so that's important. You know, almost all shapes, and that's probably for another video, almost all shapes that you can see around you you can break them down into either a sphere, a cube, or uh, some kind of rectangle, rectangular object, or a cyl cylindrical object, like a cylinder. Um, and even the cylinder, if you want, you could say that it's a rectangle. And we'll get into that when we start drawing it. We can kind of just break it down a little bit. Uh, don't want to get too deeply into that. but. Observation, super important, and uh, that's why I put it at the beginning of the video, because to, to improve your drawing, you got to improve your observation, because you can only draw, if you're drawing from life, and that's how you got to get better for the most part, that's how, how you're going to improve drawing from what you're actually looking at. You have to be able to observe correctly, so that you can draw it as correctly as possible, um, and be able to draw what you're actually looking at. Um, and it, it takes practice. It takes practice to observe, really look at what you're drawing, and to be able to copy that or draw that down on the paper. So let's get into the drawing. We'll talk a little bit more. Let's do it. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna experiment with using this brush pen um, instead of a pencil. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you guys can see it a lot better. Um, we'll, we'll see if it works out. We'll give it a shot. And, uh, but you can it's definitely use a pencil when you're drawing and stuff, you know, one of these. But for the video's sake, I want it to show up. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. When we're talking about bottles and drawing from life, I'm gonna set a bottle out over here and draw it so I can draw what I'm looking at. Um, but let's think back to the bowl episode 
and you guys should check that one out, how to draw bowls. So drawing, when you draw a bottle straight from the side, you kind of get the same uh, effect. The top is gonna be flat, and also the bottom may not be completely flat, but you can draw it flat. So let me show you guys an idea. So if you're drawing it like eye level and from the side, the top's gonna be flat. I'm just gonna draw this quickly here. And then the bottom's gonna be flat. So that's an easy way to draw a bottle. Like that's kind of a, a conceptual way to draw a bottle. It's not necessarily reality, but let's just say you know, you're not adding any curves into the bottle. You're not adding any, uh, any of the curves that you see when you normally look at a bottle a certain way, you're gonna see this curve. Um, so it's just like drawing a bowl. You know, if the bowl is at eye level, you're gonna have that straight across for the bowl. Anyway, so that's one way to draw it. Easy, simplest way to draw a bottle. So I hope that makes sense. One way I wanna talk about how to start drawing a bottle uh, is kind of a blocking in method. So if we, we think of this bottle, it's obviously a cylinder. So you're, it's obviously a shape like this. And from this cylinder, we can get the bottle. We know that the bottle is gonna fit in the inside of this cylinder somehow. Probably didn't draw that the best way, but I think you guys get the idea. I should have made the cylinder a lot smaller. So let's scrap that idea. So <laughs> let's say that the sides of this cylinder, so if we're like carving a bottle out of a cylinder, this is what I was trying to show. That when you take away kind of these extra parts, take away these extra parts from the cylinder, you're left with this bottle. So it's kind of this blocking in method you can do. This one I did incorrectly. Of course, we all make mistakes here, but uh, this is what I was trying to show that it's kind of a, it's a cylinder with just these, you know, if this, if these edges kept going up, it's, it's basically a cylinder that's just kind of carved away. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. And uh, another way to block this in, if you want, you could actually make it a rectangle rather than a cylinder. And uh, this is how you can get proportions and things. We'll talk about that in the, in the future. But also the bottle is just a, a rectangle as well. And if you want, you can add the curves at the bottom and the top to make it look more like a bottle. And that's a simple way to block in and it helps you get symmetrical um, sides and everything. So if you start out with a rectangle that has the correct proportions, obviously you don't wanna start out with a rectangle that is uh, wider than it is tall because that's gonna be a very big, that's almost like a jug that's a different kind of bottle. So that's why it's important to get uh, proportions. That's, that's the difference in proportions here. So this one, you know, the height is taller than it is wide. And this one is kind of a square almost. Uh, but that's, that's something for a different video. But I hope you guys get the idea. Like you can start off with a square or a rectangle and then just kind of block in from there and then erase these lines here. Uh, when you're using a pencil. And then you have a, a very basic shape of a bottle. So that's kind of a quick way to do this. You could do it with a cylinder or uh, a rectangle. So I wanted you guys to, uh, hope that makes sense. Hope you take note of that. But let's talk about this water bottle because it's this water bottle is a little more challenging uh, because it dips in in the middle on both sides. The neck's different. It's definitely, it's definitely more of a cylinder. There's less kind of carved away, we can see. Um, so if we start out with the same kind of, we start out with a rectangle or something like this, and then we just kind of block this in. Now the only difference is we can easily kind of dip it in where it needs to be and then make a curve down here. I'm trying to change in the height a little bit, putting a label on it. So, so you, can, you can very quickly get a shape that looks like a bottle and very easily keep it symmetrical because if, as a beginner, if you try to just start out on one side and then drawing these curves, I mean, it can be done. And then you start drawing the bottom. You know, I can, I can pretty much do it, um, but you can see it's taken me a lot more time and I'm already off. You can already see I got the dips off a little bit there. 
it's just a little bit more challenging to get everything in the right spot uh, compared to if I just made a rectangle really quickly that had the right proportions. If I would have just drawn a cylinder or a rectangle that was this tall and this wide, I could have easily gotten a bottle, carved it out of the rectangle, and then just erase those kind of uh, guidelines there for the rectangle, and then get a bottle. Um, also the same thing here, you can draw this from different viewpoints, uh, just like the bowl. I mean, you can draw, let's talk about drawing it from uh, more up above like this, something like, like we're looking down on it. Uh, and that's gonna be a lot trickier. That's where it's gonna get tricky. And uh, I almost am afraid to go into that because it deals with perspective. So if you're drawing it from above, I mean, it's gonna be a lot more difficult, obviously. Still, you can kind of take the same approach, rectangle. Um, the top is where it's gonna be difficult, but if you just draw straight sides and then maybe curve the bottom a bit more, and then this, uh, it's gonna be more circular at the top. It's gonna be less flat on the top. Also, the bottom might be a little bit smaller due to perspective. That's what I'm afraid to jump into, the perspective part. So really, if you're drawing a bottle like this, you can see the bottom is much thinner than the top because the top's closer to you. So you're getting this perspective. And uh, that's what's, what's difficult here. Um, and I'm, I'm afraid to jump into that because it's a little too advanced for what I'm trying to do here, trying to show. But I can uh, quickly show you kind of the idea is instead of drawing a rectangle, it would kind of be tapered like this. So I hope that makes sense. The bottom gets a little bit closer together and then you'd have a curve. And then the top would be much more of a circle, something like that, rather than a shape like this that's much skinnier or flatter. It's gonna be much more circular because you're seeing more of the top of the bottle. You know, the cap's gonna be much more uh, circular and then you're gonna have the sides coming down something like that. Very simple here, very basic. And then you're gonna have much more curve on this label as well. So usually a lot of these curves are gonna be identical. So you're gonna have the same curve at the bottom here for the most part, same curve on the label, same curve at the bottom of, of the cap. So I hope that makes sense, same angles here for the most part. Um, they're gonna change a little bit with perspective, but Let's not worry about that right now. Let's just focus on, you know, if you make them the same, it's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be pretty decent. Same up here, as I was saying, same angle there, same curve there, same curve here. Um, same with all these other ones, same curve, same curve, same curve. Maybe it gets a little bit flatter. And like I said, this is due to perspective. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky to, uh, we're gonna have to really jump into that in another video, perspective when dealing with items, but definitely draw from life. That's what's gonna be really helpful, drawing from life, because then you can start getting it to look a bit realistic and try to play around with these different perspectives. You know, lay it down on its side. And um, that's something I can, I can show real quick. So if I'm looking at it, we see more of the bottom. So if we draw, if we draw that rectangle again, same rectangle or cylinder, but instead of it being kind of like curved or flat on the bottom, it's more of a circle like this. And then that same, we're gonna echo that same kind of ellipse at the top and that's the cap. So now we're seeing the underside of the cap almost. I hope this is making sense. I don't wanna get too advanced, but this is just different ways to draw it. So now it's, it's like we're looking up at it. This is just different angles, you know? So it's like drawing it like this. So we're looking from the bottom up um, rather than from the side or from the top. So definitely, definitely a lot going on here and I definitely encourage you to, to, like I said, get out some bottles, set them on the table and just draw them laying down, draw them at different, you know, draw them uh, laying on their side and uh, try using this, this little method of drawing a, a light rectangle, lightly draw a rectangle or a cylinder first and then kind of carve that bottle out of uh, that shape. You know, if, if your bottle is, is very crazy or something, you know, kind of um, the neck kind of dips in. You, know, you can kind of carve that out of that, um, that guideline, that guide rectangle that you started with. So I hope this was helpful in some way. I know it got a little, a little challenging at some points with the perspective and stuff, how it gets smaller when you're looking down on it. Um, 
we're going to jump into that in a different topic in the future perspective and there's so much to cover there but i just wanted to give you guys a little overview and idea of how to start blocking in and um, how to kind of think about bottles and cylindrical objects in this way and how to kind of carve them out of a simple shape so i hope that makes sense you know you can even if it's a clear bottle you're going to see a little bit of that other side as well so and that's going to make it look a little bit more see-through um yeah so play play around with this i mean the way to learn is to do it and to draw it from life and to practice um you know, you can watch these videos a lot, but really the way to really learn is to apply what I'm saying here and do it yourself. Um, and just draw every day for 15 minutes. Just get out, put a timer on your phone and have some fun for 15 minutes. Draw some bottles, draw cylindrical objects and have fun with it. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah.